Physical Education 6, Quarter 1, Module 1, Target Games Prayer Lord, we thank you for all the blessings that we received. Lord, pour out on us the spirit of understanding, truth, and peace. Help us to strive with all our hearts to know what is pleasing to you. When we know your will, make us determined to do it. Amen. The content of this video is Lesson 1, Introduction to Target Game, Batuhang Bola. Lesson 2, Enjoying Batuhang Bola. Lesson 3, Introduction to Tumbang Preso. And Lesson 4, Enjoying Tumbang Preso. Let's now have the introduction of the target game, which is Batuhang Bola. Games have become part of Filipino culture and one of the oldest form of human social interaction. Games were important as culture and bonding events and as teaching tools. The traditional Filipino games, or the Larong Pinoy, are very much alive in the Philippines. These are games commonly played by children, usually using native materials. Some games are played or held during town fiesta in the provinces. These games of Filipino children include the following, Luxong Tinik, Batuhang Bola or Dodgeball, Tumbang Preso, and Palo Cebo, among others. Target Games Target games are games that involve the players in placing an object near or in a target to be able to get the highest possible score. The player must propel the object with much accuracy and control to hit the target. The player should also know how to protect the object to prevent the other players from scoring. Target games involve different manipulate skills like throwing, tossing, rolling, catching, running, jumping, hopping, and stretching. Now, let's discuss about Batuhang Bola. Children naturally love to play outdoor games. One of the most common game is dodgeball. Batuhang bola is the Filipino version of dodgeball. It is a game that children usually play the most because it is very enjoyable and exciting. It really makes children active because it involves throwing, running, jumping, hopping, catching, and dodging, which kids really love. It must be done skillfully to have more fun in this game. Dodgeball or Batuhang Bola is a game in which players on two teams try to throw balls at each other while avoiding being hit. Dodgeball originated in Africa. It was played there for over 200 years ago. The original version of it is deadlier and more painful because instead of rubber balls, they used rocks or petrified matter. That version is played by African tribes to train them. Skills needed in this game are throwing, running, jumping, hopping, catching, and dodging. These are the precautions before playing Batuhang Bola.
The mechanics of the game. Number one, to play batuhang bola, you must first gather two teams and get a ball. Number two, players play in front of the end line. Each team must have a space behind them, five meters. When the player is out, they go and play behind the other team. In order to get back, they have to hit an opponent. Number three, the first team should stand in the middle of the court, while the second team should be divided into two and should stand at both sides at the first team. Number four, the second team should hit the players of the first team, and the second team could hit a player in the first team. The player is out. Number five, if that player catches a ball, his team will gain a life and can be used to revive another player or be used to continue to play on it if the ball hits him or her. Number six, the team will win if they hit all the players and none of the players are left. The following are the rules of Batuhang Bola. 1. Toss coin will be decide who will be the offensive team or defensive team. Number 2. Teams will be playing a 30-minute game with teams exchanging position as offensive and defensive teams every 5 minutes or until a team scores 5 points. 3. There will be a 5-minute halftime break. Number 4. Offensive team will place one player each on the shooter or S position and two players on assist or A position behind the shooter. 5. Shooters are only allowed to throw the ball at defensive players behind the lines at the base of the triangle, which is designated throw area. 6. Assists are not allowed to throw the ball at the deflectors. 7. Defensive team will be filled 5 players in the playing court as deflectors. Number 8. Deflectors will try to avoid getting hit by the offensive team's shooters until the 5-minute time limit expires. And number 9. Teams will be given 2 or 3 minute time each half of gameplay. Number 10. Substitution can only be done on dead ball situations. Let's have our activity. Directions. Let us do the following activity. Ask a member of your family to help you to execute the skills. Here are the skills. Throwing, running, jumping, hopping, catching, dodging, and do all these skills for eight times. Take note, enjoy the game with your family. Let's have our second game or target game which is Tumbang Preso. Tumbang Preso or Knock Down the Prisoner also known as Tumbang Lata or Knock Down the Can or Bato Latte. Hit the can with a stone. It is a traditional Filipino children's game. This is a very common game among the youth all over the country, played in backyards, park, or even inside streets. For the purpose of making the game enjoyable and exciting, the composition of players should not be more than nine. One player guards the milk can, or we call it it or taya, while the other behind the toe line with their pamato.
which is chinelas. The objective is for the players to hit and knock down the milk can with the pomato and for it to put back the can inside a small circle a few meters away from the toe line. When a player is tugged while recovering their pomato, they become the eat. Without these items, it will not consider as tumbang preso. You need items such as an eat. Next is two or more players, a rectangular field, a can, a pair of slippers, or a piece of flat stone as a pamato, a chalk, or any marking tools for lines and indicators. The mechanics of tumbang preso are somewhat similar to duck on the rock. Here are the mechanics. Number one, an it is the one to guard the tin can is chosen by throwing the pamato to toe line by all the players. Whoever's pamato is farthest from the toe line is to eat. The hitters will get ready at the back of the toe line and add a signal from the game start. The pamato must be retrieved immediately once the can is knocked down. The eat will start putting it up inside the circle. The one tag becomes the eat. When the can is hit and falls outside the circle but remains standing, the eat has the right to tag the heater once the heater leaves the toe line. Next, number five. The can may be kicked or knocked down under when it is outside the circle. Next, if a hitter is not able to retrieve his or her pamato, the others can save him or her by hitting the can. Here are the other variation played on narrow street or sidewalks. The same rules apply except for some changes. These are the safety precautions before playing Tumbang Preso. Here are the skills needed in the game. Throwing, running, jumping, dodging, catching, hopping, and tossing. It is similar with the game dodgeball or batuhang bola. Activity 2. Let's play Tumbang Preso. Let's practice playing this game. Follow the rules in playing it. Do the warm-up exercise before doing the activity. What I have learned? Direction. Answer the following questions. What are the skills involved in playing Tumbang Preso? Number two, why is it important to observe safety precautions in playing games? Number three, is Tumbang Preso and Batuhang Bola enjoyable games? If not, what makes it fun and enjoyable? Explain your answer. Thank you children for your cooperation. See you on our next class. Goodbye! Please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell on my YouTube channel. Thank you!